Someone tapped me on my shoulder. So what do you think of Sue chan A clear sweet voice calls to me and with a small smile, I stop what I'm doing and look up. I'm sorry to go sound on your son. I'm still sorting out these books. Oh, what? You come all the way here to have some girl talk, indulge us. We even made snacks. We can't eat them in the library. My stomach growls as if I'm cute, and my face turns red. You can't help being hungry at this hour. Anyone would be. And Suo chan, you're a growing girl after all. Turn even red as I look up look me up and down while I serve a desk. It's true that I'm a tallest in my class, but are they calling me a pig? Could you go as words aside, it's between classes and dinner. When I'm working is when I get most hungry. The sweet scent of the snacks I've bought wash towards me. I can guess what they are. Oh, here you go. I give into temptation and take a bite of a chocolate chip cookie she offers me. Then Oh, it's delicious. The Zaki twins clasp their hands together. Her expression's radiant. That's good to hear. Right, right. The cookies you made, you made up with us are so good, we practically make them every day in the cooking club. And the bees are the Although everything would taste good in this empty stomach, making delicious cookies is quite difficult. They're simple to make, so I never mess them up. These are not exactly as I expect. They're more difficult to make exceptionally than other desserts. One more. So a cookie offered to me as a valid for me, my stomach feel comfortingly. If possible, it would be nice to have some tea with it too. As a person in charge of a library, I shouldn't be thinking this way. Thank the twins and wipe up cookie crumbs that had fallen all over the desk. So what do you think, Sir Chan? She asked again, I put the crumbs in the trash can. Did you go to question? There were classmates who dropped out of school, like flies. It's true, there's been a lot of students quitting the academy recently. Right, right. Don't you think it's a little odd? Odd? What does she mean? Surely it's not normal for people to leave... No, surely it's normal for people to leave a school if it doesn't suit them somehow. There have been rather a lot. Maybe it's a rude to say, but people who quit school are usually gloomy or poorly behaved, right? The girls who left, some of them may have been gloomy, but they were all doing well in school. I think that's us. I suppose. Oh my god, that look at her face is just, um... Now at the end of May, five girls have dropped out because of freshman class. I do think that's a lot, however. I may have felt alienated that the school doesn't suit them, so... I mean, if we consider how many people are left and what their first were like. I guess it's a little strange, right? It could be because of their family situations. You mean like money problems? Not just that. I mean, this academy is both a missionary school and a boarding school. So most of the students are well off, right? For example, maybe a family thought they should go to a more Japanese finishing school instead, or... Or there was a work transfer in the family, and we had to move overseas. Things like that. Oh, I guess there's a lot of possibilities. That's a little boring, though. She gave pounce, throws a brow, then takes something wrapped in paper off a basket she holds her hand to Ringo. And she unwraps it inside is... A hot dog? You can't have it in here. I told you it's against the rules. I made it while I was making cookies. Here's one for you, Sua chan How do you mind? A fresh hot dog still warm. The oversized wieners aroma seems to be what homemade tomato sauce. I guess my stomach growling again. The buns are freshly baked. And the smell hits as butter spread liberally inside. Sua chan do you like pickles? Yes, I do. The mind easily conjures a mouth-watering texture and taste of sliced pickles and a hot dog. This graceful sound escapes my lips. Mm. Try to dispel it, Ringo, okay? My, my appetite wins out. It's nice how Suo isn't just a stickler for rules, she's... She allows some leeway. She's a human. The conversation trails off a while, 
as the spiciness of the meat and sourness of the tomato sauce envelops my taste buds. I could also taste the crunchy, salty taste of the pickles here and there. Hmm. Swell Chan, want some of this? Take some in my pocket and place it on my desk. It's shimmering silver spice bottle. Seeing my cook in my head, Ringo sprinkles a little on my own hot dog. Red pepper? Yeah, I recommend putting it on your hot dog. Seeing her brimming with self assurance. I recall how I heard somewhere that the more girls are our days like spicy food. And I remember how I read in some magazine it was fashionable to carry your own favourite spice around with you. I guess it's a trend now. This is a new food option. I didn't have one living with my grandfather. So I like to thank you as I take the bucket of spice. Are you going to use Ringo's? If you don't like spice, if you don't like spicy, I have this. What I personally like. She also takes a spice bottle from her pocket and places it before me. I see, so girls these days carry spice bottles around. Wait, do? So what's inside? King of Seasons. Salt! I do like things salty actually. Bad for you, but I like salty stuff. Hey, you're making fun of me about that. Salt is the old seasoning in Japan. It comes down to the real gourmet who settles down with salt in the end. So basically, I mean, that's to choose between salt and pepper. It doesn't really matter which one I picked, but I'll just go spicy. Why not? So, well, let's really something, so that's potentially a good decision. Or bad decision, or it's just OSA decision. I don't know what it actually means. Well, I. Since I'm not a big fan of spicy food, I'll reach for salt, but. Boo. Ringo's looking at me sadly. I feel like I'm bullying a small child. Uh. No good. She blinks, cocking her head at me. Actually, I like spicy food. That's the first time I've heard you say that. They say that people like spicy things can't be bad people. Bums up. Handing me a spice bottle and she was encouraging me to down some alcohol. Oh, oh this time it's a twin. I hear a squeak of a wheelchair and a voice which sounds of noise. Yagaki san, you're late today. Well, it's not like I always come here. Speaking of which. Turns a wheel to the chair, bringing herself over to a desk where we're eating. The hard nosed lie becomes the breaking the walls. You got a pretty lead in the time, haven't you? Oh, it's your Gaki chan. Hello. For now, you're going to have to give me something to keep my mouth shut. Ah, a trolley trolley girl. Hmm. It's alright, the flavor's a little strong. So? I'm glad. You see, you made those hot dogs. Uh -huh. I can tell from Yagaki's response that she is intentionally ignoring that information. I can't help but smile wryly. My fortune is getting better at interacting with people. No, she converses with Riku and Mayuri, I thought she'd be quickly grown friends with a sociable Sasaki's. However. Would you like a cookie? Oh, I'm not hungry. Her blunt refusal shows the walls that she's built around herself are still high. And any watershed moment is still a while away. So, did that book get returned yet? Ah, just a moment. Take the book that was returned today from its shelf and place it in Yagaki's lap. She smiles and strokes a binding as if petting a kitten. Good. What's the meaning to read this? What's that? What else would you borrow from a library? I mean, the title. Hey. She looks at me irritated at this interest being shown in her. She wants me to do something. Ringo sounds a reader too. That's why she's interested in the kind of book you're reading. So one half a pair is a reader? 
You know, he seems to be like a bunch of people. I wouldn't think he'd have a time to read books. That's this. I prefer being alone. Hmm. You may be twins, but you're quite different, huh? Here. She blinks out of a bucket and tossed her away. This unexpected. What do you mean? Tell you what, she actually looks really, really uh, cute like that. I thought your gaki can be really more difficult to... Don't add Chan to my name. I read anything. Take your books, history books, children's books, anything. Moreover, Kenji Miyazawa is very tough. Winning at once is not enough. Ah, she has a poet and she does not even know it. She goes chuckling while Yagaki is at a loss for words. Her eyes full of a book of Ringo's holding. Night on the Galactic Railroad. Ah, that classic one. I don't think I've actually ever read it. Or read a translation. Well, not sure it's a translation. Or, or read too much about it. But it seems to be everywhere in anime and manga. In one of my favourite like, novel series, uh, Book Girl has that as one of the main books they talk about. If you've not actually ever read Book Girl or Bungaku Shoujo, well, well worth a read. It's one of the most... I really wish it would be translated to an anime properly. There was a movie and some OVAs, but... They didn't do it justice. I mean, it was beautiful. And the finale was brilliant, but they basically translated the final book, which was... Yeah. I want a full story. I suppose it's up there with your career, isn't it? But anyway, I'm, I digress. Wow, you've read this book a lot, haven't you? Do you still want to check it out again? Is it your favourite book? Not really. It's just that I only ever read the new edition. It's when I heard the old edition of Conan, I figured I'd take a look at it. If you go reply to the new edition, Ringo, who likes books, probably gets it. This is all staring down at the yellowing pages of the book. What? I want to read it too. I've read a long time this book to get returned to the library of me, come on. Please. Plays an eyebrow like a begging child. Looking annoyed again, your gacky appeals to me with her eyes to do something. Um, how about we hand it to Ringo Sam first? So the fast reader would give you two something to talk about. I was trailed off at the end. Your gacky now has a voice like a cat with slight something fixed on its prey. And I'm a pathetic mouse, of course. So, what do you think? You've never really done for as long as you've got a story that story you want to tell it to, right? Well, if you say so. I guess you can make thanks for a hot dog. She quotes a movie, Legend of 1900, and I'm relieved. Somehow I managed to avoid getting bitten. So, uh, do you like Kenji Miyazawa? I guess. I heard most of his representative works. Huh? Yeah, Gaki san said she reads children's books, but I guess you're a girl too. I didn't know you'd still read them. I have a feeling there's been some sort of misunderstanding, but I'm unsure exactly what it is and I don't know what to say. Yeah, Gaki must have noticed it too, she's making the same puzzled expression. I think Sis thinks me as that only written children's books. Ah, ah. I guess only these children's stories are put in textbooks. Like the restaurant of many orders. Huh? Me doesn't just do picture books? This is the impression of the regular people who don't read much as have. Explain how Miyazawa did poetry, children's stories, and watercolours. Oh, so he wasn't just a picture book author. That's great, though. But girls are like picture books, right? You see, I don't really like picture books. What? Did I say something weird? 
いいよ。なりからして。You're like、you seem like a tiger's l e a t h e r e You'd love your imaginary world, I'm sure. So、sure. I guess that's the people s e e me. That's why I get picture books on my birthday. Honestly, though, I don't really care for them. The pictures are cute, and maybe, but. There's some of them just like moral lectures, and some of them I don't understand at all. Which ones don't you understand? Um. Uh, for example, oh, but first. Do you like picture books, Sora chan? She looks, I mean, she's a very bookish person, but she looks like the type of person who's going to read lots of words rather than pictures. We're now asking him a moment, I'd nearly say yes, but. If I think about this, I haven't really had that many of them. I know a famous story is not so much from reading them themselves, more from references to them in dramas and novels. I don't you ask, I don't really read them. Really? That's a relief. But people seem to think all girls should read. So I started to wonder if I was strange. Anyway, we're talking about which ones I didn't understand. If it was a pop one a while back, it was probably well known and done released. Do you have a title? Um. I can't even remember it, but about an animal with many lives? Was it a puppy? A puppy goes from owner to owner, dying over and over again. Well, she's got it slightly wrong, and Yugaki san both understand from a brief explanation and none. It's a pop up for a while as a book would make even adults cry. It's a simple, it's just a story about a dog dying over and over, driven out of his life. That was again and again with those climax of a mystery of a dog that goes back to life as revealed. Is that? In the end, you understand the reason it dies, but I thought, hmm, is it supposed to be interesting? As to this, I found my arms and think about it. Usually, these kind of picture books convey morals or manners of a time. The picture book Ichigo is talking about. Well, a lot of people don't understand picture books from their philosophy. Now, I think you showed what under the child. I have no idea what he's saying. Personally, I like Red Demon or Blue Demon or Gungetsune. Books with logical story. I don't know that one. It's a good story. Hey, you're being a bit chummy. Nigaki frowns as Ichigo takes her by the hand and watches his commotion, thinking about how he seems to have gone a little bit closer. Hey, you guys greet you before I even enter the library. What's the big commotion about today? We won't make any commotion, we're just chatting and talking about how recently the girl has been dropping out of school. Oh, well. For sure, five people have dropped out, but what about this? それがなんだって。うん、まだ学院が始まって2ヶ月も経っていないんだよ。それなのに国もいなくなって、おかしくない？佐々木さんたちは何か秘密があるだろうって。Secrets? I think of a lady who got homesick and went home. And she go and Ringo could no come back against this simple and reasonable answer. It probably is as Yakagi says, but being the twins probably just want to make an interesting story. It's hard to throw my life out. It's true people getting homesick and leaving is the most logical answer. Rumor has it, but number of dropouts is usually high this year. Yeah, so what? Maybe I like the idea of this. It would be a shame for you students to drop out of a course for years. It would be common, right? But since this year, there are enough dropping out to start rumors. But one would think there's some other reason. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Here's going along with it. 
Yeah, Gaki looks annoyed as Ichigo jabs her finger towards her and snorts. Ichigo then turns her back to me. So, I propose we try to solve this case. Case? I don't think it could be really called a case. It's more fun this way. Does it sound fun? It does it? Please, Sura-chan. Well... It just seems simple to try and find out the reason why the classmates are quitting. I want to boil it up. But I do wonder why it's all this year where you've been spreading. They say many a true word is spoken in jest. I myself am interested in the source of rumour, so I agree. Yay! Well, so chan we have a live duty today, so we'll start in earnest tomorrow. It's like we're detectives. The twins are excited as I watch Yagaki shrug, shrug, I watch as Yagaki shrugs and leaves the library. Being happy, how little by little I'm getting closer to the schoolgirl life I always wanted. The next day, Ringo, Ichigo and I ask around to find why students are dropping out. We'll start our investigation in earnest in the next episode. Bye bye.